Well, I want to talk about available quarterbacks. Okay, and there's one quarterback that's available right now is Jimmy Garoppolo. So the rumor, well, not rumor, it's actually reported, um, that Jimmy Garoppolo's camp and the 49ers front office have agreed to find a trade partner. I kind of figured this that this was going to happen. If Jimmy G didn't make it to the Super Bowl or didn't win the Super Bowl, I figured that he, you know, he could have got traded. And it looks like the 49ers are going to be moving on. So what teams could be available to Jimmy G in a big trade? Oh, I could see I could see the Buccaneers since Tom Brady's retired. You know, used to be Brady's backup. Um, you know what I mean? Pretty good offensive line. You know, depending on the free agents that are leaving from the Bucks this year. So we'll see what happens with that. The Steelers need a quarterback badly. Um, now, one that's really interesting is Washington. Now, Washington are, you know, they have a new name now. It looks like it's going to be the Washington Commanders um, as the new name for Washington. Just to let you guys know, um, Washington is going after a quarterback. It has been reported from Albert Breer from NFL uh, that they are going after a quarterback pretty hard this offseason. Um, Taylor Heineke is not the answer. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But, I mean, they're they're not going to draft one. I think they're going to go after a veteran quarterback, um, you know, because they think they have the all roster. They have good pieces on offense. You know what I mean? They're going to add more good pieces this year. So they could be a quarterback away. Could Jimmy G take, you know, finish the job? I don't know uh, to do anything crazy uh, to take them anywhere. But, I mean, we'll see. That 49ers defense has been, you know, a, a strong suit um, of that team um, with a lot of good pieces on it. So, the Philadelphia Eagles, obviously, I think there's a lot of smoke screens up with the quarterback position. Um, like, I've talked about this in so many videos where I pretty much said before the season started in 2021, they wouldn't name a starting quarterback throughout OTAs, training camp, and on top of that, the preseason to like maybe a week or a few days before the season started, and they named Jalen Hurst the quarterback. Then the season ends in 2021, the Eagles lose in the wild card playoff round, and they name a starting quarterback all of a sudden. I don't believe it for anything, obviously. I don't believe any of it. I think it's all smokes. Why would Howie talk why would Howie already want other teams to assume that we already have a starting quarterback? Obviously, that could be a smoke screen. So, I don't think I don't believe any of it until we get through free agency and this draft. I really don't at this point to see reports coming out. So, if there's QBs available, I think Howie Roseman will monitor these situations. Now, a trade with Jimmy G, obviously it's not going to be as much as you would trade for Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson and maybe Deshaun Watson. I don't know. But, I mean, they're going to want something in return, hopefully give up some assets if that's the case. But do I really want Jimmy G in a Philadelphia Eagles uniform? <laughs> not really. Um, Jimmy G, I mean, I mean, when he gets pressured – in games and when the line when everything's on him when the spotlight's on him I, I just don't know he made some really dumb decisions in these playoff games that the past two playoff games that he played I didn't like how when he was getting tackled to the ground he was still throwing the football kind of like how Carson Wentz you know will get tackled and he just throws it wherever which resulted in a couple uh, picks um, I don't like his decision making I mean really at the end of the day like the offensive line didn't really play too well in those two playoff games at some degree I felt like you know when you blitz Jim Jimmy G and he's got nowhere to go. Uh, yeah, he has a hard time um, on climbing in the pocket. And, uh, you know, I didn't see some good throws from him. I just don't think the Eagles should waste their time on a guy like that unless, you know, he's promising. But to me, I don't think Jimmy G's promising. I've never been a fan of Jimmy G. Not even two years being with the 49ers from the beginning. He got a big contract when he was injured most of the time. Still got the big contract. So, you know, there was a lot of things that he didn't really deserve, but at the same time, there was a really good team around him and Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk. I mean, Elijah Mitchell, he's got really good players around him. And obviously that defense has been really good, uh, you know, this year. So there's a lot helping Jimmy G in the process, but for him to be in the Philadelphia Eagles jersey, nah, I will pass on this as hard as possible, okay? Um, I just don't th – I think there's obviously quarterbacks that are better veteran-wise, but don't just give away draft picks and settle for Jimmy G just because you just have to. You don't have to do anything. Like I said, keep building this roster in 2022. Just keep building the roster. Keep Jalen Hurts as the quarterback. I still don't believe that he's going to be starting until it's literally reported that he is starting, okay? Not from beat riders, not from what Howie says out of his mouth, from obviously Ian Rappaport, Schefter, whoever talks about it. Okay, that's the only way I'm going to really going to believe any of this. 
going into 2022, into this offseason and to this season in general. So you let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Jimmy G. Would Howie Roseman be monitoring the situation? Would he be interested? And I want to ask if you're interested in Jimmy G coming to the Eagles and why would you want him here and why you would not? You let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys later. Shake squad up, fly, slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.